How's it going everybody? Um, welcome to this week's video. The last few weeks I've been noticing a lot of people talking about plug knockers and lure retrievers and stuff like that. Um, there was a recent video uploaded by another channel, Tactical Bassin, which is uh, run by Matt Allen, where he recently went over some different um, lure retrievers that he liked. And uh, they're a really good investment if it's something that you guys actually look into uh, to getting. Um, I wanna make this video this week's especially for this case because um, I actually make my own plug knocker and it's actually a pretty good plug knocker something you guys can do at home really really cheap and I feel like it's actually better than most of the plug knockers on the market um, or lure retrievers or what have you um, there's two main styles of lure retrievers there's lure retrievers that are gonna have a lot of weight they're made for kind of like you know ramming your bait off of a, a piece of cover or wood or log or something like that and then there's going to be plug knockers that have, um, you know, various tentacles and things like that. They're going to actually latch onto your hooks and help you retrieve that lure. So the uh, design that I'm going to show you guys today actually works really good for both. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is, uh, first and foremost, the hardest thing you're going to have to find is this stuff right here. This particular chain, it's kind of got like a, oh, it's hard to explain. Um, it's called plumber's chain and it's actually used um, for various plumbing applications. And I really like this chain because not only can your hooks get in it that way, but sideways also. Um, it's really thin, which I think is important because when you drop your, your lure retriever down and you pull it up to try to snag that hook, they kind of flutter and, and fall in different directions and really get a good circular base around your, um, your lead. Um, and what I use for my weight, I just held up as a is just a cannonball sinker. This one's a 10 ounce. I go anywhere from eight to 12 ounces. Um, there's not a big difference between the two, but I wouldn't go much bigger than 12 because you don't want a, you know, a 16 ounce weight dropping on a, an expensive lure. So I really like the 10 ounce. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is gonna be um, just standard swivels. These are size three. Um, they don't have to be super strong like owner hyper wires or anything, just decent swivels that aren't gonna bend out. And then you're gonna need some snaps. Um, so what you're going to do first is if you bought your plumber's chain in a long strand, like I bought a five foot strand, you're going to cut it down to sections. Um, I try to vary it. I got one here that's about 10 inches, one that's 12, and kind of mix it up so they can flutter around in different areas. Um, what you're going to do next is cut them and then put those split rings on. Once you get that going, you're going to actually take your split rings and put it onto your cannonball sinker. If I can get it on here. in this here box. Um, so let's see, Let me get these guys on there. I'm gonna readjust my camera real quick and we're gonna start putting this thing together, so I'll be right back. If you guys can see, we're here with the finished product. Um, all I did was add some split rings and put those chains on the, on the 10 ounce ball here, and then just tie a simple, you know, standard clinch knot what you're going to need to do is put your clip on before you finish the knot so it is there. What you're going to do is um, when you get snagged, <clears throat> troll over to where you're snagged, get a really tight straight line down to your bait, clip your line on here and go ahead and drop it right down. Um, sometimes a little easier with two people but I've done it plenty of times alone. Um, you're going to drop it down, I've got a 50 foot rope and just jig it up and down and eventually you'll feel it and you'll be able to feel the hooks. And sometimes you can feel it get tight and then come off and you want to sit there and jig it until you get those hooks and I guarantee you will. Um, this little guy right here saved me probably two to three thousand dollars in the first two or three months I was using it. This was early last year uh, when I was throwing a lot of Huddlestons and stuff. So give it a try. It'll cost you like 10 or 12 bucks. Definitely worth your time. Thanks for viewing and uh, stay tuned for next week.